With fires devastating the West and hurricanes seemingly constantly targeting the South, it's been pretty hard to dismiss the reality of climate change, at least for most of us. And we on the East Coast are vulnerable, too, a message Liz Nislaw shows us some local artists are trying to highlight. Artist Sylvia Lopez Chavez is painting with a purpose. This piece is addressing issues around uh, pollution in the oceans, and specifically this area in New England where there's a lot of uh, issues around um, the lack of regulation on plastics. She's one of six local artists who've just completed these ocean themed murals in East Boston. Seawalls Boston is part of a global project led by Pangea Seed Foundation, which says more than 400 murals have been painted in 17 countries, calling attention to something cities like Boston can't afford to ignore, the ocean. The city's on the climate change front line. This is what East Boston looked like after a storm in 2018. There are now deployable flood barriers, part of a climate plan the city's been slowly rolling out. And this is what the North End's Langone Park looked like in early 2018. Construction is now underway to raise areas and increase drainage. Needed improvements, parks and recreation officials say, to take into account the growing frequency of storms and higher tides. This project alone may cost more than $13 million. The city says despite the pandemic, climate change funding is still there. Mayor Walsh has set aside 10 percent of the total capital budget just for resilience projects, just for climate adaptation. That translates to 30 or 40 million dollars in any given year. But more than a billion will be needed to fund climate plans. Activists say more pressure is needed on developers and ask why luxury apartments are built in flood risk areas. So we have to constantly invest more and more because you've already built in a high risk setup. Why don't you build in a low risk area and densify there? Just because the waterfront is attractive, you're going there, but you're putting people in harm's way. Still, even with fires across the West and floods in the South, it's easy to forget what storms might be heading our way. Once the emergency is over, we all kind of sit back and get back to our lives and sort of forget about uh, the threat. And so education of the public and the public's ability to respond to climate change is really, key. that is key to how we're all able to, to weather this. And education can take many forms. These mural artists hope the public sees more than just pretty pictures. Liz Nislas, GBH News. The Mayor's Climate Ready Boston Initiative has already released a report with what it calls a roadmap for changes needed in East Boston and Charlestown. Another upcoming report will also lay out recommendations for downtown Boston and the North End.